Quran states in verse 2444 that God alternates the night and the day. يُقَلِّبُ اللَّهُ اللَّيْلَ nahar. And immediately after that verse, 2445, reminds us that all living creatures were from water. That sequence is worth pausing on because scientifically those two ideas are deeply connected. If Earth did not rotate relative to the sun and therefore did not experience the alternation of night and day, the planet would be tidally locked, like the moon is to the Earth. If the Earth were tidally locked to the sun, one side would face the sun permanently while the other would remain in endless darkness. The result would be extreme temperatures everywhere on the planet and far less stable surface liquid water. And without widespread stable liquid water, the transition of life from aquatic environments to land becomes far less likely. Earth's rotation does much more than give us sunsets. It moderates global temperature, drives atmospheric and oceanic circulation, supports the planet's magnetic field, and establishes biological rhythms on which life depends. In another chapter, the Quran also says, we made the night for rest and the day for livelihood, a remarkably accurate description of the circadian biology. Animals active at night are called nocturnal. Interestingly, many of the most cognitively complex animals on Earth, including humans, are diurnal, active during daylight where stable cycles of light and darkness support advanced vision, learning, and social behavior. Verse 2444 ends by saying, in this is a lesson for those who have vision. Li'ul al-Absar, not hearing, not abstract reasoning, but vision, because the alternation of night and day is a light-based observable sign. Additionally, vision is our dominant sense, one that evolved with daylight and shaped our brains, behavior, and intelligence itself. So next time you hear this verse, remember that the alternation of night and day isn't just beautifully poetic, it's foundational to the world where life can emerge from water, adapt, and thrive. SubhanAllah.